Hey guys, Crafty Supergirl here, and welcome to a very special kind of video. So today you're going to be watching gameplay of me playing Skyblocks, which I'm actually doing it as I speak right now, because recording it and then voicing it over is too much work. Because last time I did that, my microphone stayed, you know what, it, it was a mess. Okay, it was, it was a big mess, and I don't want to repeat that big mess. So today I'm just going to be doing the gameplay while I make this video, even if it makes it a little bit more difficult. So, the topic that I'm doing today is, you guys probably r realize that I've been doing a high school roleplay lately, and I, um, I want to do more roleplays on the channel because I really, really like doing them, and I have a lot of fun making them. It's just they're really difficult to make and it's difficult to come up with ideas and I haven't been uploading them as frequently lately because they are they are difficult to make and they take a while to edit and etc. So basically I want to start another roleplay besides high school because I'm kind of getting burned out on high school but I don't know what series to make. Uh, I have like a ton of ideas but uh, I wanted to see what you guys want me to do. So I have like a I have like a big list on my phone right here of ideas that I have that I'm going to suggest and then I have a poll in the description and I also have like a Google document with all the ideas written down on it as well that you guys can go look at. So the first idea, um, the name of the series, I'm currently calling it uh, Saving the Gods. So Basically, I got this idea. I, I didn't actually come up with this idea. So, my friend, uh, Silver, she's been in a couple of my videos, she had a dream. Like, randomly, one night, she had a dream. And it was this storyline, basically, just with a bunch of holes in the story because it was a dream. Um, and she said, it sounds like it could be a movie or something. And I said, we should totally make it into a Minecraft roleplay. And we're still talking that over, but um, I'm basically going to explain the story to you guys, but I'm not going to explain everything in case I end up doing the series, then there would be spoilers in this video. So basically, uh, this would be an adventure story about a statue that grants wishes, like a little elephant statue that grants, that grants wishes if you pay your respects to it. And... Then, one day, someone got curious what would happen if they wished for the statue to disappear. And they wished for that, and the statue disappeared. So, the roleplay would basically be about getting the statue back, and there would be a reason behind why we needed to get the statue back, and there would be, like, people who didn't want the statue to come back, and there would be, like, a backstory as to how the statue got its wish-granting power, and like a history of the statue, etc. And yeah. And my list just scrolled way down. Okay. So yeah, that's one idea. You can vote for that in the poll that I'm gonna leave in the description. And another idea, the second one, is Yonder A High School. You might have seen people doing this before. Uh, ever since the game Yandere Simulator first came into existence, that is not a kid's game, by the way, but, um, anyway, a lot of people do series, like, kind of based off of that. So, what I wrote down for this is, Crafty and her sister start high school, and Crafty meets a young boy who she falls in love with, but it seems someone else also likes this boy and would go beyond extremes to keep anyone from being with him, including Crafty. So basically, the story, the story would be about, um, def and this girl would be the Yandere. So the series would basically be, um, defeating Yandere and, um, saving anyone who... Uh, Yandere wanted to hurt, I guess. Um, if this idea got picked, I would, like, of course, come up with more of a plan for it. But for now, the only idea I have for it is the premise. 
The next idea I had is something that I originally wanted to do with Bear, but she didn't really want to do it. Uh, she didn't really show much interest in the idea. Is Runaways. The title is Runaways. So, the thing that I wrote down is, Crafty and her partner are on the run from a group of dangerous people. They run from shelter to shelter, hiding, making friends, trying to get to a place where they will be safe. On the way, they will meet people they can't be sure that they can trust, and must keep them on their toes at all times. And yes, I did just jump into the lava by accident, because I'm smart. And, yeah, it's an idea that I randomly came up with when I was trying to think of something unique, and, um... I don't know, it, it seems interesting to me. I don't know if it, it's interesting to other people, but um, it's something that I kind of want to do, and you can also vote for that in La Descriptione with the link. I don't know why I said that so weird, La Descriptione. Anyway, <laughs> so that's another idea. That's an idea that I wasn't like... I have other ideas that I'm more crazy about than that. And I don't know, eventually I may end up doing all of these series, but, oh, crud. <laughs> That's great. Oh, no, no, no. Why am I spawning in the lava? Oh, jeez. What the heck, man? Ah, this is why it's better to record footage ahead of time. What the heck? Why does my ice keep freezing over? What? I don't understand. My ice! What? Am I in a snow biome? I think I'm in a snow biome. This stinks. Um. Anyway. I guess I should move on to the next idea. The next idea is called Runaways. Or, no, I just, I just did Runaways. Okay. The next idea is called Dangerous. This idea is based off of a fan fiction that I wrote and am still writing, actually. Um, why does my ice keep freezing over? Or my water keeps freezing over. Um, basically, my fan, my fan fiction is not, like, my, it's not a family-friendly fan fiction. So, I mean, unless you're, like, I mean, the, the age that I recommend for it is, like, 13 or 14 or older, if you want to read that fan fiction. I don't know. It's kind of dark, like it's got kind of a dark storyline. Um, so basically it would be kind of based off of that, but it more kind of toned down to a, to a family friendly level. Jeez, I almost fell off. Okay, because I do try to keep my channel kid friendly, so I would um, tone it down quite a bit to be family friendly from what my fan fiction actually is. So basically, this story is about a girl named Skylar, who, um, she was born with, uh, two dads. She was born with gay parents, which, um, I wanted to do because I wanted to express my support of gay rights, mostly, and also, I don't know, I thought that was a cool idea to have, because, I mean, no, like, superheroes or... People in the popular movies have gay parents, so it's kind of a unique idea. And, um, so yeah. And, so her parents, yeah, that happened. And then, uh, one of her dads, uh, died. And the other dad went missing. So she had kind of a rough time, like a really rough time when she was growing up. And she wanted to find the person who, uh, killed her dad. So, this story kind of fast forwards to when she was an adult, and she gets powers from a lab explosion, uh, where some experimental explosives went off, and she gets powers from it. And, um, 
So she uses these powers to help people, I guess, and kind of become a vigilante, like a super- this is a superhero story. So she uses her powers to become a superhero, and she kind of clashes with other superheroes, like... So, yeah. The idea of the story is that she clashes with other superheroes, uh, like The Flash, Green Arrow, Batman, all those superheroes from DC Comics, and she battles them, and, uh, I guess, like, because they, they don't know her, they don't know who the heck she is, and so she gets into battles with a lot of them, and it's a very interesting time as she searches for, uh, the guy who killed her dad, and... I don't know. I guess it would just thought. I, I guess I just thought it would be kind of interesting to make it into a role play series and take it from being a fan fiction to an actual like series story thing. But I don't know about that one. Of course, I would tone it down from the actual fan fiction to be more family friendly. But it just started out as such like a lot of the main points are kind of dark. So I don't know if I'll end up doing that. But it's just an idea. Anyway, my next idea is. Um, kind of like a Beyond Two Souls storyline, uh, or like a sequel type thing. There's a, a game called Beyond Two Souls, and it's about this girl named Jody who's born with an entity or like a spirit type thing that um, their souls are bound and the spirit protects her from anyone or anything that tries to hurt her. And, um, because of this, she's kind of thought of as a freak, and she's kept in, like, government places to be raised, and she eventually ends up in the CIA, which doesn't end well, and it's a pretty interesting game. You may or may not have heard of it. It's pretty interesting, and... I thought of maybe doing something like a side story of that or something. I don't know. It just it just seems like an interesting idea. And I'm I'm kinda gonna kinda gloss over this one because I'm really excited for the next one. The next one oh jeez, I don't know what just happened. Uh the next one is Wizard High School. <laughs> or Hogwarts. I um I'm gonna be honest with you, I just started reading the Harry Potter books, like, a month or two ago. I'm on, like, I'm, like, halfway through the second book right now. And I'm already a little bit obsessed. <laughs> um, and now I want to do, like, a wizard high school type series. And what I wrote down for is, like, kind of, um... Again, kind of like a fan fiction type story or like a sub story from Harry Potter. Um, what I wrote down in this little Google document that I have right here is based off Harry Potter with characters from the books such as Harry, Voldemort, Dumbledore, Professor McGonagall, Drago Malfoy, etc. And hold on, I'm, I'm trying to play Minecraft and read this at the same time. It's not easy. Okay. This would be about a witch, so like a female wizard, who was born, hold on, who was born with extremely powerful magic from a family of muggles. Muggles are people who don't have magic if you've never read Harry Potter. Um, and this family of muggles always thought, she, thought of her as a freak. And she's rejected and feared for these extreme magical abilities. And she's driven insane by that and turns evil and like, only Harry Potter has been nice to her and hasn't thought of her as a freak, so she develops, like, because she likes him, and, like, everyone else has been awful to her, and Harry Potter's the only person who's been nice to her, so she, like, I guess develops a dedication to protecting him because he goes through a lot of crap with people being mean to him and stuff, and so... 
And so she basically uses her extreme abilities to protect him and to protect him and protect herself. But she goes about it in ways that could be considered evil. And so she kind of turns into a villain and the whole story would basically be about stopping her because she's super powerful and yeah. I wouldn't play this villain. I would have someone else play this villain because I don't want to be a villain. As fun as it is to play villains, I don't want to play a vi I don't want to play this particular villain. The only reason that I really don't like playing villains is because they always lose. <laughs> they always lose. I don't like losing. So anyway, yeah, that's my idea for that story. I mean, if you like it, you can vote for it. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, but that's my personal favorite idea, because I'm getting really into Harry Potter. Um, hey, look at the next one. Okay. The next one is called Superstar. Uh, two girls, two friends go from being a talented singer and a talented businesswoman to being pop sensations. And basically, there's this girl who's a pop singer, and her friend is like her manager. And this story, this role play, would be about how they came to be a pop singer and a manager, and how they came to be famous and stuff. Hold on, I need to drink water. Alright. So, yeah, that's my idea for Superstar. It's a pretty simple idea. I think it could be pretty interesting um, for, with what I have in mind. This next one, uh, another one of the ideas that I really liked that I came up with, um, Minecraft University. What I wrote down for it is a story about two friends who just got into college but the studies are hard, relationships are harder, plus there seems to be something slightly not right about their criminal justice professor. So it would be Minecraft College, basically. And these two girls get into college, and I mean, it's new, it's a lot different from high school, and they're going to all these different classes and focusing on their majors, and the studies are difficult. And they're having, like, friendships and relationships and stuff. And, yeah. It just, it, it is an interesting thought that I had. And the his, or the criminal justice professor is going to be kind of sketchy. And there's going to be, like, a story behind it if I end up doing that idea. And, Yeah. Next story, I only have two ideas left that I've listed. The next one is called Vani. So if any of you guys watch my Minecraft High School series that I do with the Bearverse Gaming, um, you'll know that like the antagonist, the bad guy, her name is Vani. And she's kind of a classic bad guy, just doing it for the thrill of the rush. And she's pretty bad. So, this series called Vani would be about Vani's origin story and how she came to be an evil person in the first place. And I haven't actually presented this idea to uh, Vani's voice actor. So, I think she'd go crazy about it, but I don't know. I'll have to ask her, but I think she'd go crazy about it, and I think it wouldn't be any problem getting it started. But,. I just think it's, it's an idea that would be pretty fun to do, to kind of figure out how Vani and Miss Dvorsky got control of the high school, and why they wanted to be in control of the high school, and how the whole thing started, etc. So, if, you, if this is something that you guys would want to see, yeah, again, vote for it. I like that idea too. That was one of my favorite ideas that I came- ow. I'm gonna die, I swear. Um, this was another one of my ideas that I came up with, and I don't know. If you like it, vote for it. If you don't, if you hate it, you don't have to vote for it. I really need to move this cobblestone generator. 
Okay. I am gonna move this cobblestone generator while I continue to do this. So yeah, the last but not least idea that I had is called CIA. Two agents meet in the CIA and go through a ton of missions together and make the perfect team and collect intelligence to help protect America. It would be a pretty interesting series, I think. And... I don't know. It just sounds like something that would be a fun idea to explore. And there's a lot that I could do with a series like that if you guys wanted to see it. If you hate the idea, I'll never do it. And it'll it'll never become a thing. But if you like the idea and you'd be interested in seeing it, just let me know by voting for it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, yeah, again, if you guys want to see any of these series, then just let me know by voting for it. And I will do it. And basically whichever one gets the most votes is the one I'm going to do because I really am kind of drawing blanks for what I should do. So, yeah, if you guys like any of these, any, uh, blah, blah, if you guys like any of these ideas, let me know. Again, I've said this like a million times. Let me know by voting for it and I shall do it. And yeah, whichever one gets the most votes is the one I'm going to do. So yeah, link to the poll is in the description. You don't have to make an account. You don't have to register or anything weird. You can just click on whichever one you like the most and it will instantly count your vote. And I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Yeah, this website that I found is really, really good for creating polls. Because, like I said, you don't have to create an account, you don't have to, like, put in any information about yourself. You'll open the link and it'll take you straight to the poll. You just click on whichever option you like the best, and then it'll count your vote towards the end count, and you don't have to do anything else. It's amazing. It's called poll.me. And the link's in the description. And you can create your own polls without having to create an account, too, which is awesome. You just have to save the link because you'll never be able to find it again. I think all my stuff just burned, including the bucket. At least I made it the Okay, I didn't have the bucket. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Uh, I've already told you to vote for whichever one you like a million times. So yeah, do that, and I'll see you guys next time.